Hey YouTube, Cyan here, and today's video is going to be my very first comparison for Fuxuan. Now, we're going to be comparing her light cones. If you've looked at my previous light cone comparison videos, normally I do not commentate. This time I am going to try commentating because it's a lot of information going to be dropped here, and we're going to be looking at more than just her damage. So because of that, I need to explain everything, and we have a little bit of... um improvising we have to do <laughs> I'd be the best word to describe it because I don't have a couple things now let's first go look at Fuswen right these are my Fuswen's base stats so she'll be rocking at energy regeneration rope HP percent orb you know what we just look at the stats let's go from here so these are her stats um, we're running two piece longevous and two piece weathering snow now we're running HP percent on the body on her feet, we're going to be running 25 um, speed. Then we're going to be rocking Fleet of the Ageless, rocking HP percent orb, and a energy regeneration rope. So this to give you guys an idea, these are her base stats, not including any light cones. Okay. Now, when it comes down to light cones, there's a couple things I got to talk about. One, I don't have um, what's it called textures of memories. Why you're asking? These two, they're both S5. Meaning I, I am a day one player, so um, I've literally done it every week. You can't get any more. So I'm going to have to wait another month before I can get textures of memories. And sorry, I just can't do it. I just don't have it. Two, day one of my new life. If you notice, it's S3. I'm sorry. I've pulled a lot in this game. and It's not coming to me. I would have liked to have an S5 for the most fair comparison. However, I do not have it. Therefore, we'll be using it at S3. We'll make some adjustments so that you can see like what it should be and what the defense should be. Um, I believe it's 24. Um, we have it at 20. So keep that in mind. I get 24 and 12 off the top of my head. I could be wrong, but um, I'll have it edited in or something. Now, other than that, notice that the light codes are level 60. I would have liked to normally put it to level 70. That's why I do for the um, damage light cones. But if you notice, I've been leveling my light cones to level 80 now. And because of that, it's just a resource limit. I don't have enough to push it to that level. The stat bonus is for flat stat. It's linear. So keep that in mind that even if they're level 60, the difference is not going to be any different than if they were level 70. My overall number, like Fushuan stats, are going to be higher, obviously, but the outcome will be the exact same. So just keep that in mind. Um, I just want to mention this because, you know, this is what we got to do it. At least I have to deal with it for now. Um, I would like to have all my light cones maxed out in the future, but, you know, that's the future. <laughs> we're in the now right now. So we have to worry about what we're dealing with now, uh, what we're dealing with now. Now, one thing about my light cones, I'm only going to be focusing on these five. She already shut her eyes. Um, moment of victory. Landell's choice. Day one of my new life and defense. I will not be doing We Are Wildfire. Strictly speaking, I don't really recommend it. Um, I know it's the free to play alternative, but there's also textures of memories. Um, I don't really recommend doing We Are Wildfire. I, I understand why people would have to because they don't have anything else, but just mentioning it. Now, with that stated, let's go look at her um, stats. So I'll just go over the traces. She's 599, everything maxed out. So, and she's E0. I don't think any of these really impact anything, but I'm pretty sure someone may be curious about it. So let's just mention it. So for her light cones, we're going to be looking at the stats really quick. So, As, as I mentioned, we're looking for each health and defense. So with her health here, we have 7,527. And then on her defense, we have 1,285. Moment of victory, we have 6,571 and 1,595 defense. Landell's choice, 6,379 
then we have 1,161. Now, day one of my new life at S3, we have 6,379, which the HP will stay the same. Um, the, what we're missing is a little bit of defense. Here we have 1,411. We're missing a little about 4%, so keep that in mind. And then we have defense, which is going to be 6,379 health and 1,000. 37 defense in the background you will see footage of how much damage each light cone takes to make things a bit easier i decided to compile the information into a google spreadsheet so it's easier to view in column a we have each light cone if you look closely moment of victory has been split into two because of the initial damage you take and then the additional defense damage taken Column B is our base HP amount. Column C is the HP you will have in total when Fushwine skill is used thanks to the knowledge buff. Column D is our base defense. Column E is the damage taken by Fushwine from each attack. The split damage is equal to the final hit damage. Column F is the damage taken on Fushwine after you activate her skill and Ting Yun is attacked. Column G is the damage Ting Yun takes without Fu Xuan's skill being active. Column H is the damage that Ting Yun deals to enemies. This really only affects her signature light cone thanks to the additional damage. Column I is the percentage of health loss from the damage taken since each light cone has a different amount of HP and defense. This is a way to understand how hard they are being hit. Column J is the defense exclusive and it's how much we heal from it. We are going to focus on column I as that's the main goal here and we can see that from strictly defensive value on average Landall's choice provides the highest damage reduction with moment of victory second hit having the highest peak and defense by far being the worst. There are certain things here we cannot value because they provide benefits that are not directly reducing the damage taken like heals and increasing the energy regeneration rate. So let's go take a look at a few rotations. The footage in the background will be the same rotation for each light cone and how well they perform in Memory of Chaos 10 when Fu Xuan takes all the damage. It's going to be sped up a little bit just to make sure it doesn't take forever but look closely at how many charges are used for each run and how many charges are left at the end of each rotation. Keep in mind, none of these enemies hit too hard, but we will have our defense lowered and it's just a quick simulation. While each of these are going on, I wanted to talk about EHP, or you can call it effective health pool, which calculates your defense and your total health combined to effectively get a higher number since defense is used to mitigate damage while HP is used to absorb the damage. On the screen, you will see there will be an image to see how much effective HP you need to tank the strongest attacks in Memory of Chaos. Since I didn't directly ask to use anyone's calculator, I will refrain from showing it in the video. However, there are a few useful calculators if you want to input your stats to see how well you can tank it currently. Now. One thing to mention is currently Yang Ching's AoE attack is the strongest attack we can take in Memory of Chaos. However, I don't believe I've ever ran into this attack before, as I normally auto battle him and never ran into a party wipe situation, so it must be a pretty hard condition to fulfill. There are a few stronger attacks like True Strength, Swarm Onslaught, not shown here, because I assume it's just too hard to factor in from simulated universe buffs and blessings not to mention remaining bugs, but keep this in mind as well. Now, let's get back to the gameplay. As you can see here, most of the rotations end up with the exact same scenario in this quick test, ending up on zero charges, besides one, which is defense. The reason for this is that even though it does take the most damage, the ability to heal yourself outside of the below 50% HP charge consumption area does benefit us in the long term. But because it takes the most damage, it's likely to be what gets you killed from 100 to zero the most, 
So that's its downside. I don't think it's a clear cut on who wins overall besides the signature light cone. I didn't even mention its heel in this. If you are looking for the best defensive value, it's S5 Landau's choice, consistency wise at least, followed by a moment of victory S1. In long battles where we get whittled down, defense is one of the better options thanks to the heal, assuming there is no extremely powerful AoE attack. There currently isn't enough fights that is strictly focused on AoE attacks for day one of my new life to pop off, but in the case there becomes one, it will be the best. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and thank you for watching.